Everyone's taxes go up on New Year's Day if no deal is reached. And Diane Sawyer got an exclusive look at where Republicans stand from House Speaker John Boehner yesterday. ABC's John Carl has more on that from Washington. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The Speaker of the House told Diane that he is confident he can strike a deal with the president, but he also took a hard line on the central issue dividing them, tax increases. I've made it clear to the president, and I think I said, laid out yesterday, that raising taxes on small business people uh, is the wrong prescription given where our economy is. But raising taxes on the wealthy was a central issue of President Obama's campaign. He talked about it in every single campaign speech. The wealthiest Americans got tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts. Try a tax cut. Another $5 trillion tax cut that favors the wealthy. The wealthy. The wealthy. That's not change. In her exclusive interview Thursday, Diane Sawyer pressed the speaker on that. The campaign down at 60 percent of the voters have said that they are ready to raise these taxes. They are ready to I have the wealthier Americans pitch in here. That raising tax rates uh, is unacceptable. The looming fiscal crisis has already affected financial markets, helping drive the Dow below 13,000 for the first time since September. A deal is not struck. Virtually every American taxpayer will see a substantial increase in their taxes starting January 1st. But during the last debt negotiation, Speaker Boehner's hands were tied largely because Tea Party conservatives opposed compromise. Here is what he told George back then. Listen, there's no daylight between the Tea Party and me. And what does he think of the Tea Party now? We don't have a Tea Party caucus to speak of in the House. Yet even as he called increased tax rates unacceptable, the Speaker told Diane he was open to increasing tax revenue by closing loopholes. I'm the most reasonable, responsible person here in Washington. The President knows this. He knows that he and I can work together. Now, the election's over. Now it's time to get to work. In the interview, the speaker also said that he would no longer push for a full repeal of Obamacare. Now, he later corrected that a few hours later, saying that full repeal is still his ultimate goal. But clearly, George, the president and the speaker have some battles ahead.